Hey, welcome to today's video. Uh, in this video, we'll see how to pass data from a component to its child component in Angular. So, here I already have uh, an Angular application uh, from one of my previous videos. So, here you can see we have one main component and inside we have two tabs, one for new employee, one for all employees. If I go to the code, you can see that this is the main app, app component. Inside app component, I have two components in two tabs. One is the new employee and one is the all employee. So here, as you can see from the UI, I have a drop down here inside one of the child components inside the new employee and the same drop down I have here inside inside the table also. Now, uh, what we'll do is uh, both of these drop downs will be using the data from the same data source. So I, in my app dot component, you can see see on ng on it I'm making a call to a fetch user method now this method it fetches some data from from an API so I'm logging this data here so let's see how you can pass this data which is in the app component to its child components child components in the sense like these two child components app new employee and app all employees so what I'll do is I'll assign this value into a particular variable. I'm assigning the response into the data variable. Uh, now let's go to the app.component.html file and pass that data to these uh, child components. Uh, I'll define it like users uh, equals data and similarly the same data we can pass to the other child component also here I come and paste it here now inside your child component you, you need to define this uh, users input directive so at the rate input users okay so let's set a default value also okay now I'll just copy this thing and go to the new employee also. There also we have a drop down, right? So let's define it here. Okay. Now if you save the data and all, to save all. Now since we have saved this thing, so these uh, drop downs is already fetching the data from users variable, so it's fine. So I'll just go to my application. If I reload this thing, you can see, uh, okay, data we are getting, but it's not populating. Okay, here it's populating. Okay, there's something wrong with the API. Here. So I'll just go to my uh, all employees thing. Okay, here the value is not being binded. I'll do one thing, I'll go here, copy the select from here, and come to new employee replace okay I was simply missing this thing user.name hasn't been shown there so now I add those things now if you see here uh, we fetch the data in our main component uh, that is the app component and once we have fetched the data we pass the data to both of these components so in that way like we don't need to make an API call for like each of the components so the main component fetches the data on initial load and passes the data from that parent component to the child components. Child components here are new employees and all employees. So this is one way in which you can pass data using the at the rate input directive. So I hope you like this video. Uh, do let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching.